بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The distinguished president of Indian National Congress Srimati Sonia Gandhi distinguished former prime minister of India Manmohan Singh distinguished former presidents your majesty ladies and gentlemen it is an honor and privilege to be here today to be in India today to commemorate the legacy of a great man a great statesman and leader to commemorate the legacy of one of those rare individuals to come by individuals who by means of their vision courage dedication and hard work hard work are capable of bending the arch of history of a nation of a region and indeed the whole world leaving behind a lasting mark such was the influence of nehru and the significance of his legacy one that lives on 125 years after his birth and 50 years after his death much has been said today about nehru's role as a stalwart of india's freedom struggle as a revolutionary and as a pillar of indian india's nationalist movement that led the way to independence much has also been said about nehru's role as india's india's first prime minister in laying the foundations of modern india as the world's largest multi-party democracy and an open secular plural and inclusive society for all nehru's legacy as a global leader is seen from thousands of miles away is appreciated from thousands of mile, miles away as a continued relevant story to today to today's world ladies and gentlemen when nehru together with the towering figures of the era nasser sukarno tito nikroma and other renowned leaders set about to establish the non aligned movement they were not only guided by their own country's colonial experience that left them determined to be the masters of their own fates they were guided by the principle of non violent struggle enshrined for independence enshrined by mahatma gandhi they were equally guided by their national interests in an international system dominated politically by cold war alliances and economically by western capitalism and soviet communism these leaders led the developing world to preserve its freedom freedom of freedom of action by enshrining the principles of respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity non aggression non interference nehru added to that democracy democracy to all democracy as a system to reckon with and to contribute for a better future from want and subjugation moreover those leaders were forced to reckon with in the fight of millions for independence and here the role of nehru should be underlined Africa today is free from colonialism thanks to in no small parts to those leaders who stood up in support of African countries quest for liberation and human dignity Egypt is certainly proud to have been part of this steadfast line against colonial power colonialism at this dark era of humanity Nehru was also an avid supporter of the idea and ideals of the United Nations as a global body with the mandate to peacefully settle disputes but equally important as a forum for setting international norms international problems 
and to call for global governance where developing countries are treated equally and their voice are heard loudly. This is the legacy, the legacy of Nehru, Nehru's global leadership, and it is one not only to be proud of, but also to continue to build on. Its relevance today cannot be emphasized enough. On one hand, and as the world celebrates the 20th century of the fall of Berlin Wall, this iconic moment that ushered in the end of the Cold War, one must be deeply concerned by the alarming signals of Cold War mentality making a comeback. Global powers are vying for spheres of exclusive influence and international relations seem to be back to be conducted as a zero-sum game where winner tries to take all. This is the challenge that is compounded by the lack of global leadership from any one country or group of countries and by the relenting erosion in the practical and, norm and moral authority of the United Nations and the order that came with it. Such a situation would call on us in such an adversary to revisit the principle of non-alignment, just in case. But a new paradigm dealing with a new era, new elements, new circumstances, but still based on the non-alignment that should not allow again the world to be subject to great power manipulation, influence, and perhaps conflict and confrontation. Ladies and gentlemen, the current challenges, risks and threats to international peace and security, to the international well-being, spanning the global map, could not be greater today. From Eastern Europe to Africa, and from the Middle East to Asia, the world seems to be on the verge of another turbulent, very seriously troubled decades coming. Finally, one must also be alarmed by the changing nature of conflict, where interstate wars are giving way to inter to intrastate war, struggle over religious and ethnic fault lines leading to terrorism. Here I will recall the principles that Nehru stood for. Unity in diversity. We have all to live together without discrimination as to religion, to sect, or ethnicity. In the face of all these challenges, Nehru's legacy could not be more relevant. The principles that guided his foreign policy at the height of the Cold War, which came to define India's role in the world, are highly in demand. Nonviolent resolution of conflicts, non-interference, the respect of state sovereignty and independence should become the main foundation of a newly reinvigorated international system with the title cooperation, coordination, better future for mankind. Moreover, as the world's largest democracy and a society based on tolerance and pluralism, India of today can and should offer itself as a model that stresses the commonalities between all human beings but cherishes diversity and differences. As a global economic powerhouse, India has another effective role to play. I come from a continent that has successfully, thanks in no small part to India's leadership, 
successfully overcome the obstacles standing in the way of its freedom and independence from colonial powers. I come from a region that is facing a major challenge, but that is laboring under one title, change. Change that should move all the countries of the Middle East, of the Arab world, into an era of democracy, into an era of success, into an era of cooperation and understanding. And here, the principles enshrined by Mahatma Gandhi and Gawahila Nehru are cases in point. And I come from a country, Egypt, that is deeply changing, moving to the future with determination that democracy is the theme, democracy is the style, democracy is the way to the future. And here, I believe, we have more than understanding between India and Egypt. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really very honored to have been afforded this opportunity to come back to India, the country that I loved, and the country I believe in her wisdom and the wisdom of its leaders. This legacy is felt and celebrated all over the world and Egypt, Egyptians, would salute India at this very unique occasion. Thank you very much.